Good morning, people. Watch Women 65, Lisa Boyce. I'm going to give you the gospel this morning. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, that Christ spilled his blood for our past, present, and future sins, was buried, and rose again on the third day, according to Scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone. Not of ourselves, not of works, least any man should boast. It is grace that God gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believe in him will not perish but have eternal life that's the gospel right there that's the gospel period we are saved by grace through faith in christ alone nothing else once you accept christ the savior you put your trust and your faith and your belief in him once you accept him as savior the holy spirit indwells in you the holy spirit leads you guides you the holy spirit is your best friend the Holy Spirit changes you, and according to Ephesians 4.30, the Holy Spirit seals you until the day of redemption, which means you will not lose your salvation. Not only are you saved and rapture ready, but you are sealed until the day of redemption. That's good news, which means you won't lose your salvation. I got to come on, I got to give you this article off of uh, Dave Hodges. It says here, sleepy. Joe may have abandoned California school children in Afghanistan. Now, I had heard about this. I didn't know this until Tuesday that there were children, literally, United, uh, U.S. children, school children over there. These kids are from um, California. California school children in Afghanistan, but he can rescue. 200,000 terrorists from the Middle East and bring them to America, which is exactly what has happened. Sleepy Joe may be leaving children from El Cajon, California behind in Afghan. However, he's having no trouble importing an estimated 200,000 terrorists from the Middle East. It is clear that the following evidence uh, trail that the Dopey administration is, impor is uh, importing large number of terrorists from the Middle East who have very bad intentions against the American people. You know what those intentions are? They hate us. Because they hate. Almost a week ago, money work was tracking flights or monkey work. They're a tracking company. They were tracking flights out of the Middle East. He followed flights leaving from No, I think that's his name, monkey work. That's his name. But he he tracked these people. He followed flights from Kabul and landing in the Middle East airports and then taken off again. He's got a video here about that. And it says go to the nine minute link and play the video from there. And when I link this in the description box, you should be able to uh, get it yourself. But what is significant of this? Simply stay on uh, this path. And all will be revealed as it is clear based on the following evidence that monkey work was tracking the importation of hundreds of thousands of Middle East terrorists. Now, Paul Preston, con he goes on to say, Paul Preston contacted me last week with direct information regarding the fact that hundreds of thousands of Middle East terrorists are being flown from Doulis and surrounding airports. They bypass, listen. They're bypassing security, customs, and placed on outbound flights to various American military bases, including but not limited to Fort Hood, Fort Bl uh, Bliss, Fort Bragg, Fort Lewis, and a couple others. These arrivees are, listen to this, they're paperless. They can't even be vetted 
And the majority are not from Afghan. I had said, and I'm going to repeat this. This bears repeating. I had told people in a couple of videos that everything was going to happen at once. You know what's funny about this? The closer we get to the feast holidays, the more stuff comes out. The more stuff is coming out. And it's coming out by the minute. I'm going to reread re this. These arrivees, these people, are paperless. They cannot be vetted. And the majority are not from Afghan. It goes on to say, I've been contacted by two airline employees who work for American uh, civilian airlines. We know that the government uh, commandeered civilian airliners to facilitate the hastening of the evacuation of the people at the Kabul airport. I promised these whistleblowers that I would not reveal their airline at midpoint destination. But it goes on to say, this is the letter. Dear Dave, I work for such and such airlines. We flew so-called Afghani refugees out of Kabul to a location in the Middle East. The original passengers were deposited shortly after landing. Almost immediately, we took on new passengers from our secondary location. They were all male. And they were in their 20s and 30s and there were no children nor females. You know what? I'm going to stop right there. If you don't get what's going I had said this. They're bringing these people over here. Now, nothing was said about them bringing those people over here. The, all, when, the day all this was happening. I knew what was going on. I knew what was going on right from the start. They're not coming over here to get with their families or to party. I said it yesterday. I've said it the past couple of weeks, and I'm going to say it again. Something is about to happen. Let me reread this. The original passengers were deposited shortly after landing. Almost immediately. We took on new passengers from our secondary location. They were all male. They were in their 20s and 30s, and there were no children. There were no females. They were rude. They were crude and almost uncontrollable. We flew these new passengers to a prominent East Coast airport. We were cautioned to not speak of any details regarding our flights from the Middle East and what we witnessed and what we witnessed. America is being lied to by its government. Huh, no crap. And there is not a word of this in the media. Let that sink in for a minute. It goes on to say, please note that we know that Southwest Airlines and American Airlines were pushed into duty under federal emergency status. Excuse me. I have one question. Where's Camel? And where's the Americans? Something's going to happen. Something's about to happen. It's, it's plain and simple. I am certain that after this, Fox News broadcast, Tucker Carlson knows exactly what I have come to learn. 
Afghan refugees are being deposited in various Middle East airports and terrorists are boarding planes headed to America. Forget the dogs that are roaming. Oh, we just found this out this morning. They lied about the dogs. Oh, we took the animals via some organization. The dogs are roaming around at the airport in Kabul. Wandering around. They lied about that too. I think Raggedy Ann. Oh, and you know what? I had, I took a good look at her. She does look like Raggedy Ann. What's her name? Jan uh, Saki? I would say something else, but you know. I recently interviewed Sarah Westall, and it would strongly appear that Sarah has much of the same information that I have. Middle East terrorists in great numbers are being flown into the United States, folks. Thank God for the rapture. Thank God for the rapture. Um, goes on to say, finally, I was speaking to Robert Griswold, who was uh, recuperating from an illness. Robert told me, <coughs> excuse me, Robert told me that he had to <coughs> have the exact same information. It is clear that the dopey, administration is performing the great switcheroo and substituting legitimate Afghan refugees with hardcore Middle Eastern terrorists who mean us harm. Griswold said the targets of these terrorists will primarily be infrastructure related. I have something very frightening to uh, add here. Don't be surprised if another 9-11 happens. It goes on to say, I wonder if Sleepy is screening the vaccine passports of these terrorists before admitting them to the U.S. We're not going to be here. The church is not going to be here. But I'm going to tell you something. This nation won't last under this administration. There's no way. This is a perfect opportunity for the Antichrist to come on the scene and make his way. The church, like I said, and like I've been saying, the church is getting ready to rapture. If you don't believe it, hmm. well, let me just read it to you again so that you'll know. We're getting ready to take off. And woe are those who are left here to deal with this. Things are getting ready to take off. I, I'm telling you, it's going to happen all at one time. Someone asked in the comments yesterday, well, how do we know it's a rapture? First of all, you need to read your Bible, starting in 1 Thessalonians, and look at this. 1 Thessalonians... Three, fourteen. Well, it's four, four, fourteen. For if we believe, there's that word again, believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them which are sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say, unto you by the word of the Lord that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first <clears throat> then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Now that's 1 Thessalonians. Let me tell you what 2 Thessalonians say. Now 1 Thessalonians talks about the rapture. So this is going in order, right? 
So, 2 Thessalonians 2 says, For the mystery of iniquity doeth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders, and that, and with all deceivableness and unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of truth that they might be saved. First Thessalonians is first, which is the rapture. Second Thessalonians is second. So there you go. The rapture happens first before the tribulation, the great tribulation. I had to point that out. I mean, it's, it's right there in, in the Bible. I mean, those of you who want to believe in a post-trib or a mid-trib, be my guests. But don't come on here telling me that it's this and that. Because it's right there in the Bible in order. Now, I'm going to link this article in the description box. I'm going to bring in more articles on my blog. I pray for you people every day. And I pray that God bless you greatly. Especially those who support me. In these final days that we have on this earth. Which is going to be soon. And I'll be back with the next video. This is bad. This is real bad. Someone sent me something from Australia. Australia is, is, uh, Australia is off the rails. Right now. Any programming. We watch a lot of animal programming. Any programming they have from Australia. I don't even watch. Because it's just, it's, Australia is just, Australia has gone. Just like the U.S. is about to. I'll be back with the next video. Thank you.